Hello everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to create buttons using the flat laugh style. Here, you'll see eight different button styles, but in this tutorial, I'll focus only on two of them, the primary button and the ghost button. I've created a Maven project, and in the pom.xml file, I've added the flat laugh library along with the MIG layout library. And I create new mainframe for test. And we have the flat laugh.properties and the resource folder. In the flat dark laugh.properties file, we define all the color values, including the foreground colors. These properties are automatically applied when the system runs in dark theme mode. We also have a flat light laugh.properties. This will apply when the application runs in light theme mode. And we have the flat laugh.properties file. This is where we define the button styles. Unlike the dark and light property files, the settings here are applied to both themes, so the style you create will work consistently in dark mode and light mode. Now, let's go to the test button frame. In the main method, we call the method flatlaugh.registerCustomDefaultSource and set the location of our flatlaugh properties files. As you can see, I created a folder inside the resources directory to store our flatlaugh properties files. Next, I install the flatmac darklaugh theme. This allows the application to use a macOS-style dark theme for our buttons and other components. Here, we can see two simple buttons. Next, we'll go to the flat laugh properties file and write the code to define these button styles. Now, create a style class by writing the style name inside square brackets, then the component type, and finally the style class name. When you want to split the value across multiple lines, you add a backslash at the end of the line. Then add the background style. So we can use the properties that we has defined here. Just copy the color primary. And don't forget to add a semicolon after each property. The semicolon is used to separate style properties inside the block. It works just like in CSS. Every property ends with a semicolon. Next, foreground style. And the same, just copy the foreground primary here. Then, the button margin. We set it as 510, 510. This represents the order, top, left, bottom, right. Then, we set the arc style to 10. The arc property controls the roundness of the button's corners. Next, we set the border width to zero. This removes the button's border. The last one is focus width, we set to three. We have created a primary style for the button type. We can use this style anywhere in our application, but remember, this primary style applies only to buttons. Now let's copy the style name and use it with our button. To apply this style to the button, we use the put client property method. For the key, we use flat client properties dot style underscore class. For the value, we set it to primary, which is the style name we defined. You can see that this button is styled as primary. Next, we need to create the focus border style. Go back to the flat laugh properties file and create another style class. This time, we don't specify any component type. That means this style can be applied to any component. We'll simply set the class name as primary style. Now let's add the border color property. For the value, we use the fed a color function provided by FlatLaugh. The fed a function is used to set the opacity alpha value of a color. This is helpful when you want a transparent. We apply 70% opacity to the primary color to use it as the border color. Next, add the focused border color style. For the value, we'll use the same setting as border color. And the last one is focus color. For this, we'll set the opacity to only 25%. Now let's run it. Here, we can see the button styled as primary with the focus border color applied. But now, I'll switch the theme to light so we can see how it looks in a different mode. Next, we're going to create the ghost button style. To do this, simply copy all the code from the primary style, 
then change the style name to Ghost. We remove the foreground property because we'll use the default text color. Set the background to Null, so the button will paint the background of its parent component. And we change this primary color, so we can see the ghost color that we define here, so change it, and we can remove the focus border and border color style. Now, let's apply this ghost style to our button. Just like before, we'll use put client property, but this time we'll set the style to ghost. Now we have two button styles, primary and ghost. The other styles can be created in the same way. We already have color properties defined in the flat darklaugh.properties and flat lightlaugh.properties files, which you can use or adjust as needed. I'll include the full source code for all the styles in the GitHub link in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.